Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Where we last left off, we had torn down the tyranny of the Team Rocket, and now we are on our way to the town of the 8th gen, and we're struggling to get through this ice cavern. Not struggling so much as ran out of time before we finished last time. So let's uh, continue finishing these things off with very little struggle on our own. <laughs> Having the EXP share now makes life so much easier. Spooner can just sit in the back and soak up that EXP. Okay, there's an item down there. You know me! <laughs> that was easy. Holy shit, that was Waterfall? Wow! Did not expect that. Well, I guess I have Waterfall now. <laughs> This cave is really cool, though. I don't remember it having this much detail. Oh god, we're gonna need strength here, aren't we? Yep, yep, we are. Sigh. I don't know why I used sun stuns for, but it didn't do anything either. I guess I just pressed the button too quickly. Should be more careful. Okay. Huh. Sorry, I zoned out for a second and I'm a little bit confused on what I'm supposed to be doing right now. But don't worry, I'll figure it out. There's a lot of gold bats here. I'm amazed I caught that swin up so quickly. <laughs> and there we go. Not terrible, Treebeard. Not terrible. Let's see what we've got here. Is there an item there? No, there's not. Nothing there. That's an item. That's what I thought. Looked a little suspicious. There's another item. Nice. Max potions are good. I'm holding on to that. Functionally indistinguishable from a... What am I looking for here? from a hyper potion at this point, but you know. Okay, we're trying to get to the middle. All right, so we need rocks dropped down so that we can do that thing. Okay, I can do this. Carpe diem, you do the thing. Be careful. <laughs> Don't want to mess this up. Delibird! Oh, I wish I could catch it. I love Delibird, even though River told me to go into the cave earlier so that I wouldn't catch it. <sighs> I'll never, ever forget that crime you committed, River. I wanted that Delibird on my team so badly. But we do what we gotta do, you know? Sorry. Awesome. Alright. Yep, it's this way. Sneaky, sneaky. And there, and there we go. Well done, game. What else do we have to do down here? Okay, let's plan this one out first. Okay, it's got to be this way. And 
here, and there, and we did the thing. Awesome. Well done, Sarasi. It's going to have to be this way. And then... This isn't too bad. Wow, we finally hit a battle. That took a while. Okay, Delibird, bring it on. Head butt. See how that does against this thing. And it's still gonna kill. Only with a crit though, so who knows what would have happened otherwise. Spooner, you haven't leveled up in a while. What's going on? Oh my god! This game. <laughs> Head butt that motherfucker. Very cool. Still not remotely at the stats we need you to be at for the fight, but, you know, that'll happen when it happens. Alright, let's check down here. There was um, a ladder, it looked like. And I aim to figure out where it goes. Oh, that's the one I came in on. Don't. Look at me go. <laughs> Bring it on, Golbat. And consume its soul, Treebeard. Beautiful. Almost there. We can't be much further away at this point. Oh my god! We got this. Just a lot of random battles. It's okay, I need the XP anyway, and it'll save me time on grinding before the final gem. Of Johto, at least. I had forgotten this, but there's a whole other set of gems after this in Kanto when we get to relive the originals. Won't that be fun? Alright, let's see what I can do here. Oh, that was easy. Look at that. There's the full heal. Okay, does anyone know Rock Smash? Oh god, do I have to teach someone Rock Smash? God damn it. Such a useless ability. I don't think anyone knows Rock Smash. Yep, no one knows it. Well, shit. Um, huh. Guess you have to relearn it after a certain point. Well, I can just go and get the item this way. Sheesh. It saves a little bit of time, but, like, seriously, no. Ooh. That's gonna be really useful for this gym battle if I end up using any ice-type moves, like the squin up or something. Why am I going this way? It's obviously the way out. Okay, this way. Thinking about where I need to hit exactly. How did I get that? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I think it's this one. Shit. Nope, it's gotta be one over. Oh, come on! Right, Golbat, bring it on. Treebeard, eat its soul. Nice. 
All right, now we go down. There we go. That was easy. Is that rest? That better not be rest. Why are all the TMs in this gen garbage? It is rest. Yay! Yep, there's no real way out. Okay, gotta go around again. Not worth the trouble, but whatever. I did the thing. Okay, come on, game. There's a lot more ice puzzles here than I remember there being. No wonder this part gave me trouble when I was a kid. Couldn't handle puzzles like that. <laughs> Good job, Treebeard. I wonder if Spooner's getting EVs with the EXP share. If anyone in the comments happens to know, let me know. I'd be really interested to hear that. Oh, got this right the first time. Iron? Iron's okay. Let's see what else I got for those items, because I could use those. Carbos raises speed. Uh, definitely want to make sure Spooner has good speed for what he's going to be doing. And for iron. And then on lung cancer. Definitely want to have maxed defense on the tanky tank. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And another room. That's an item. Protein. We're just getting all of these things, aren't we? So who needs more attack power? Definitely Kirko DM. Always want him to have more attack power. Well done. PP up will be useful later in the game. There's no way I'm using that before the Elite Four. <laughs> Holy shit, I made it out already? I could have sworn it took longer than that. Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. Well, thanks. A quiet mountain retreat. Doesn't sound very quiet. There's a lot of loud music blasting everywhere. Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair? Want to trade? No, I can't do trading, sorry. Oh, come on, come here. Aru! Voices in my head! Huh? I'm listening to my radio. Aw, oh, he's playing around. There was a snow I just had to teach my Pokemon. So I got the move deleter to make you forget any gem move. Oh, that's awesome. Deep inside, far off Indigo Plateau, it's the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Oh, thank you. All healed up and ready to keep exploring. You can't buy Max Revive, but it fully restores a fainted Pokemon. But where? It won't restore PP, the power points needed for moves. Oh, that's okay. Max Repel keeps weak Pokemon away from you. It's the longest lasting of the Repel sprays. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, good for you. Let's see, what do I have here? Don't need to sell any of that. Want to keep it all. Uh, let's buy a few great balls. I mean, ultra balls, duh. Look at me go. <laughs> and even 10 hyper potions should be good. Okay. Who lives here? Oh, that's the move deleter. Let's talk to them. Uh, hello, yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget moves. Shall I make Pokemon forget? No, that's okay. I don't need that service at this point in my life. Trainer tips. Pokemon holding a miracle berry will cure itself of any status problem. 
Well, that's just nifty. Um, okay, something might freeze them, so... Who would I want to have something to prevent freezing? Fuck it, I'll give it to lung cancer. <laughs> Gotta give it to someone. Are you going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? I mean, I was hoping not to, but... I might have no choice. I don't know. What is this? Oh, it's a Dratini. Oh, that's cool. A clan of trainers who can freely command dragons live right here in Blackthorn. As a result, there are many legends about dragons in this town. What does that mean, that they can freely command dragons? Does that mean normal trainers have trouble controlling dragons? Is this where Lance is born? That'd be cool. Dragon masters all come from the city of Blackthorn. That has to be Lance, then. The blessed user of dragon Pokemon. Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Really? Impossible, huh? Well, let's go this way and see what we find. Aw, oh, I can't go in there yet. No, only chosen trainers may train here. Please leave. But it looks so cool. God damn. Also, I know her strongest Pokemon is level 40. And currently none of my Pokemon are level 40. And in fact, Spooner needs a long way to go before he'll be ready to fight them. So, what I'm thinking of is maybe do a little grindy grind. You know? Sound okay? I mean, yeah, it's gotta be okay. <laughs> okay, we haven't been on this route yet. This is new. Oh, that's Dark Cave. That could be useful. Yeah, we caught things on Route 46. That's where I got Stoner Bro. So let's see what we can find here. I already have one of you. Had, that is. Aw, oh, that's sad. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Stoner Bro. <laughs> I'll have to go back through the rest of Dark Cave at some point, too. There's a lot there that I've missed. Hello, trainer. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, it's a cool trainer. Ryan. That could cause problems for Treebeard. Treebeard's a tough cookie. Treebeard can take this. No matter what Pidgeot can throw at him. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. That's the best he can do? Alright, let's do this. That wasn't terrible. Nice. Those stats are getting up there. Yes, and I will make you forget teleport because that move is useless. Electabuzz. That's kind of cool. But it's going to die too. Oh, it knew what I was going to do. What the shit. Electabuzz such is such a strange electric type. It doesn't really fit in. That's not going to be very effective. Oh, that was a crit, dude. You're screwed. Two crits in a row is cool, though. There we go. Well done, Treebeard. And there is level 38. Take that, Ryan. You've won my respect. I see you're raising your Pokemon with care. The bond you build will save you in tough situations. That's neat. Let's uh, switch into Carpe Diem. Oh my god. Huey? Yo, Sarasi, were you asleep? It's me, Huey. How's it going? Hey, I challenge you to a battle. It won't be like last time. Lighthouse is where I'm waiting for you. Hustle over here pronto. Right. Yeah, that's totally happening. Not. Let's see what's in here. 
Might as well. Come on, game. Give me a Pokemon. I do not have a Gligar. I, I think it'll survive a Twister. It probably won't now that I think about it, but let's see. Is it tough enough to warrant adding to the team? Oh yeah, it's totally fine. We'll take another one even. Because I think uh, Dragon is still a special type move in this gen, which is an absurd decision because almost all Dragon types are really high physical attack, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, what kinds of things do I have here? Uh, are you a fast Pokemon? Nope. Does not appear to be the case. Let's see. Ah, let's just try an Ultra Ball. Gosh, what do I even name a Gligar? Builds its nest on a steep cliff. When it is done gliding, it hops along the ground back to its nest. Well, it's based on a scorpion. It's a flying scorpion, so you are... Scorpio. There we go. Oh, now we're just getting battles all the time. Isn't that great? Oh, a traveler. Hello again. I know how to handle you. <laughs> Come on. Jesus Christ. And it's another Gligar. I don't know why I did Twister right there. It's not like it was going to do much. Speeding that up a bit. There we go. Now it's dead. Nice and dead. Max Potion is good. What is your battle strategy? It is foolish to use strong moves ind indiscriminately. I mean, yeah, that's true. But if you're using strong moves against things that they can actually kill, then maybe that's not the case. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, Meryl, time to be consumed by Carpe Diem. Alright, Spooner. War Tortle. <laughs> wiggle Wiggle Wiggle. <laughs> That's a cool Pokemon to have. Good for you. Awesome. Carpe Diem is just, like, dominating. This is great. And another war tour. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Finish him. Is it just me or almost all of NPC's Pokemon mail? I just noticed that. I'm gonna start checking now. <laughs> Without a tax stat. I lost. I'm not in favor of old, overly powerful moves. I want to win, but I also don't want to harm Pokemon. Aww, that's actually really sweet. Uh, you're at level 38, so let's switch you for lung cancer. I'm gonna go this way. Hello? I was training her alone. Behold the fruits of my labor. Oh, that's great. 
Jeez. He looks like Goku. <laughs> Such anger. Alright, let's uh, finish him. Not terrible. Well done, lung cancer. That defense stat, dear god. Kenji. Wah! This calls for extreme measures. I must take to the hills and train in solitude. Our battle was remarkable. I wish for something to remember you by. Perhaps your phone number will do? My training makes it impossible to chat much, but nope. Nope, that's not happening, creeper. And a nugget, that's good. It's a lot to pick through of like which which side am I gonna jump down on? <laughs> I'm missing a ton of things that I'm gonna have to go through again. No stranger. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. That's uh Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Timothy? <laughs> well, let's do this. Huh, you could actually hurt me, but I can take you. You're only level 27 and Diglett has like a terrible attack stat. And defense stat. In fact, Diglett's just terrible overall. So is Dugtria. But on the off chance you know Magnitude or Earthquake, I'm actually gonna switch out, I just realized. That could be a deadly decision. Yeah, it was a very good decision to switch right there. That could very well have killed lung cancer. Haha! <laughs> -ha. You never stood a chance. The XP is split so much, oh my god. Take that, Timothy. Losses. They're there too. The best thing to ever happen to me was discovering Pokemon. Aww. That's a good part of my childhood too, buddy. I'm really, really tough. Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting. Camper Quentin. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hey, that one actually is a pretty tough Pokemon. Good for you, buddy. Let's see how long Cancer does against you. There we go. Oh no, Growl, whatever will I do? Jeez, that was easy. Well done, lung cancer. And a primate. Oh no. And if you're wondering why I haven't sent out Sheldon much, it's because, uh... She's not very good against these sorts of Pokemon. Um, and also, I don't want to drag on the episode too long with her extremely long battle sequences. I'll be level grinding her and everyone else, too, off-screen um, before the next episode. In fact, I'll try to get everyone ready for the next gym by the next episode. That should... that sounds feasible. Okay, Spooner's well on his way. Seriously, almost all of their Pokemon are male. What the hell is going on here? Pokey sexism. That's what's going on. Um, finish him. Oh, so close. Oh, let's tackle. It's tough at the 
Battle Tower? I'm sure you were, buddy. Have you been to the Battle Tower? I never ever lose there, but... Yeah, that's right, I kicked your butt, didn't I? And... Huh. This place is new. What's this? A mystery berry. Oh, that's cool. A nice little pool here, too. Well... I'm going to grind everyone off screen and probably do everything else on this route. It's not anything super exciting, but I will see you next time on Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke.